Double time in 2022. A very good evening, Andrew. Yes, good evening, Tom. What a lovely clear night it is. Too. It is absolutely very warm. Welcome back to you and a very good evening to you. Welcome back. How are you? Thanks for being with us. This is Ford written all over it for the final time. This calendar year, would you believe? Indeed, Tom. This calendar year. 2023 Sorry. is our year, Tom. Yes. As we said last year. <laughs> And the year before that. And the that. year before that, yeah. And actually the year before that. Yeah, we've been saying it for about 12 years now, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, this is our year and it's just kind of... Nah. The games are coming thick and fast at the minute. Would you believe it, Andrew? We're playing Monday, Thursday, Sunday this week. Three games in six days. Yes, amazing, really. It's kind of the games. time where you'd yeah. not want a sickness crisis and you'd want a lot of selection options. But there we go. Such is the modern world we live in. It's but the same for other teams, I suppose. Absolutely. It's the same for Ipswich as well. They've got their injury woes, which we'll speak about in a moment. Before we do so, the number of games is reflected in the level of content that you're getting. You're getting plenty of videos this week, aren't they, Andrew? Lots of 4 0 to get your teeth into and a return of 4 0 Sunday Live very soon. So make sure you subscribe. Subscribe down below, we've got a big January coming up, including a trip to none other than Tottenham Hotspur's back garden, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Yeah, looking forward so to that. So plenty, well, plenty to subscribe for. Yep, plenty to subscribe for, Tom. Let's get stuck into it. So 2023 is around the corner. Perfect time to download the wonderful One Football app. And this is the last opportunity we'll get, Andrew, to tell Elif. Uh, tell Elif. <laughs> tell Elif. <laughs> it's the last opportunity we'll get this year to tell everyone about the One Football app and the fantastic features that you can enjoy for a football fan, fan of any football club scores ping straight to your phone across all competitions any divisions that you turn the notifications on for also news articles about your football club completely specified to what you choose so if your favorite team is Portsmouth you will get Pompey News Pompey News mate that's all you want in it you love yeah. a bit of Pompey you don't like yeah. any other news because it's all don't, depressing Pompey News also depressing where can one football be downloaded Andrew for the first link in the description in Tom. Tan, absolutely one that we always look forward to in the calendar tonight tips which make the trip down to a floodlit Fratton Park with barely a seat in the house tonight Night, Andrew. Always top billing in League One this one. How much are you looking forward to it? These two teams, it's always a good watch. I'm really looking forward to this, Tom, I, but I can't see us scoring any more than four tonight. I can't see us scoring at all, to be honest, because we haven't scored for four league games. <laughs> So make of that what you will out there. But um, New Year's resolution for Danny Cowley, win some football games. Yes. Yes, we've got a special shout out to give to a very special someone. Yeah. Um, our very own Mr. Gaz Guinness got engaged over Christmas, which yeah. we're delighted about. Yeah, congratulations, he popped the Gaz. question to Rita, and Rita, for some strange reason, accepted. The stag do in Malta is going to be incredible. In oh, all, yeah, we're looking wait forward for to that. In all seriousness, massive congratulations to our partner in crime who comes over and travels the most miles I know of anyone on a regular basis coming to watch football matches. Congrats, Gaz. We're all, we're all yes. buzzing for we're you here on the mate. channel. Definitely. And uh, we'll see you on Four Nil Monday Live in a couple of days' time. We're from Australia, and um, we're we're over here for uh, a couple of weeks and I had to come and see you mate. And myself and Lawrence have been, um, we've been sort of messaging yeah. and replying yeah, haven't we? Yeah, we've never yeah. met in person. Yeah, no, have you have. been watching as well Cheryl? Yes. Oh yeah. no, I like listening to you. I think yeah. it's a good. Yeah. That can definitely. Bit funny, bit that, funny, oh, go on, bit keep of going. everything, you know. <laughs> that will definitely stay in the edit Cheryl. So <laughs> yeah. when you get home you'll be able to watch that. How much are you enjoying watching this team at the minute? Can't grumble mate. Second yeah. in the league aren't we? Going up. Standard. You see he's called it. Well I don't think it's going to be 4-0 again. It's probably going to be 2-1. I think it's going to be a bit more in that. Yeah. Coxie's here everybody, welcome. He is the man that does all the behind the scenes on the Griffin channel and he deserves a massive shout out, so Thank there you, you go. Much, Lots of hard work from this young man, he yeah, must yeah, be very yeah, proud yeah. of him. Score tonight? 3-1 Ipswich. Ooh. See, I'm going to take all that back, what I'm I just said. Teddy, score, hit me with it. 4 0 it all over it. Oh God, there's a lot of confidence here tonight, I'm not really feeling it mate, what are you thinking? A 2-1 Pompey win. 2-1, look Corner. at that face. 4 0 written all over it to Ipswich. Oh. Now that's probably the most realistic one we've heard so far. 3 1 Pompey. 4 0. Oh, we didn't say which way though. I won't. I won't. Oh, 2 0 would take that. What about you, mate? 4 0 and all over it to us. <laughs> so much confidence. I'm not going to repeat what you sent to me on Snapchat about half an hour ago, but oh, it was. We won't talk about we, that. We're not going to talk about that. I'm confident we're going to win. 2 1. It's going to be tough. Yeah. It's going to be 3 1 earlier. Yeah, but yeah. He's, he's here now, mate. So it's kind of, you know, pressure's getting to him and, you know. He's, <laughs> False sense of security. Ruben, tell everyone where you're from, mate. I'm from New Zealand, mate. And that's yeah. a long way yeah. away. But it's about 24 hours on the plane. 24 yeah. hours on so a I plane. Know, so watch yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, that can stay in the edit. Yeah. Have you flown over to be on Fauna written all over it as well? Uh, you know what? Yeah. You yeah. out there we get a little a little think about that one. Uh, right, what are we going for? Here we go. Yeah, you yeah, have yeah. very nice here, I must say. Uh, yeah, yeah, but of course I did. I'm an expert. Look at the age. Oh, oh. What's this? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> what is it? 
the bank. It is, look, yeah, but it's, it's the bank, it's which Town Football Club's checkbook. The first one's already written. Signed by Ed Sheeran. Oh. Oh. What's your score prediction tonight, Harry? What are we uh, saying? 2 1 Pompey. Yeah, we take that. 3 1 Pompey. We take 3 1. 3 2 Pompey. We take all three of those. 1 0 will be hard because uh, they're top of the league, and but I doubt uh, Harness will be playing at his best because it's against his old club. And when you're against your old club, you always yeah. feel like the pressure's on you. We need to get that first goal. Once we've got that goal, if we're first to get it, then, then we can move on and maybe push forward. I want to say 2 1, but I think it might even be a 2 2. But at this moment, in time, I'd at the time it. of recording, we'd massively take it, wouldn't we? Yeah, I would. Oh, Ta yeah. I'd take a 2-2, definitely. Yes. Most important view of all, I want to see a performance. And I want to see dedication. Everything that Danny tells these players are giving us. Hard work, effort, dedication, enthusiasm. I need to give a massive... We give lots of shout-outs tonight, but massive shout-out to Reese. He's been a, he's been our lighting director all evening. He's been on the camera. He's a very dynamic individual. He's been doing all the adjustments on the levels. Thank you. You're very welcome. Happy Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you too as well, Tom. I'm actually optimistic because it goes against everything that Pompey's currently going with. Yes. Um, and obviously it's which come here very, very confident um, and it will just be a Portsmouth thing to go away with a 1-0 win. It's always optimistic and we're going to do a semi 4-0, sort of 2-0. Oh, we're sem <laughs> we have lots of semis around tonight. Oh, we like that. Hey, we like, hey, we like a bit of that. Up the semi. <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy the game. We're looking forward to this tonight. Yeah. What are we thinking score-wise? 2-1 tonight. You reckon a 2-1? Who's going to score them two goals, Edie? I'm saying Ronan and Colby Bishop. Well, I'm hoping for a a lot of goals and hopefully all from Pompey. <laughs> well, we'll see you at me. What's your score tonight, mate? Oh, 4 0 written all over all day long. Oh, <laughs> scored the goal of his dreams. And there lies a problem concealing to your first attack. I mean, it's literally 10 minutes in, that is the first sight of goal, first set piece, probably second set piece opportunity from outside the box. And it ends up in the back of the Pompey net. Seen the most blatant free kick not given. You just seen it. I'll put it on the screen. The worst decision Sam Allison's ever done, and he's dropped some clangers. It was horrendous for us against Crawley in the pat of Cole's paint pot, whatever it is. Apologise to Danny Cole for giving two penalties to them. He's going to be doing a lot more apologising tonight. Disgraceful. <laughs> Oh God, I don't know, that, might, that might get us demonetised. Oh, absolutely, no. It's just, no, I've not shown nothing, have I? Come on, you bought it for me and I've got to wear it, and I? Sorry about that, if anyone was eating, do apologise. I, 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 happy Christmas. What do you make of that Ipswich side? They're impressive, aren't they? I think they're a good team. They knocked the ball around really well. I said to Andrew just now, I think you've got a team like Pompey there, we've kind of huffed and puffed, but haven't really created much out of it. I mean, it's a moment of brilliance and pack, but it's a free kick. But you see, when we got the ball at the back, they just swarm on us. And that's a team that's invested in what the manager wants to do, and they're, they're all pressing, they all know exactly what they're doing, and it just seems we're a little bit lost out there. As you say, I think one all half time against the, probably the best team in the league. I don't think you can really complain about that. I think we've done what we've had to do, but we haven't been overly impressive. Do I believe Danny Carey's the man for the job? Yes, I do. Do I want him to succeed? Yes, I do. 100% I want that. Happy ever after. It'd be a great club with him in the helm. Such I'll a great story as well, yes. wouldn't it be? Yeah. And it'd be fantastic. That's what I always wanted. At the moment, I feel the team are letting him down, but I don't think it's all the team. I think there's something somewhere in there, but this is Ipswich. Good team. They're a very good side, and we're all no own against them. Do you know what? It's hard, it's hard to say what Cowley's going to say to his players, because I don't 
I can't put my finger on what's quite going, what's going wrong at the moment. And this half, uh, this half of football hasn't really given me anything to suggest that there's going to be a massive change. I get we're playing a very good side, but I'd like to see the players invested in like, you know, there's players walking about there, and you're like, that's not, that's they're not they're all invested like Ipswich are. They get, they're all pressing. They know exactly where to be. That's why they can play these one-touch passes into into Sam Morsi in the middle. They don't need to move. He's just there. They know exactly where everyone is. We get it. We just hoof it up the field. Try to just kind of feed off scraps a little bit. I think Dale's played really well, give him, give him a bit of credit. I think Swanson's been really good as well. Uh, so yeah, those are two positives to me. But hopefully there's something different in the second half. I'd, I'd like to see something, you know, the players come out, Cowley says something to them, something change something, show a bit of initiative, be a bit proactive, because otherwise I, can't, I can just see this going one way, unfortunately. And yeah, I know, I know I'm negative, and I'm never usually like this, but it hurts at the moment watching Bombay, it does. Well, it's the first attack they've had, and they've scored from it, and it's completely changed the dynamic of the game because now we've, we've stopped pressing, we're not closing down, we're not trying things that we were in the first 10 minutes. Second half, full time. Off. Come on, give us my some head, positivity, my head, son. My Come head on. saying 2 all, oh. but my heart 2 1 Pompey. Terribly quiet in the Milton end. to go Tom 2-1 two, two up at home you should win the game yeah lack of con concentration let them get it back into it yeah they're a good outfit let's not kid ourselves they're a very very good football team probably, probably lucky to get away with a 2-2 two, two tonight because they, they they play some good football mm. it wasn't off the post off the crossbar they weren't all over us in the, in the goal map were they they played a lot of football on the pitch but not actually penetrating at the, on the final third I don't think they were perfect no no but they weren't they were a long chalk before the game I was thinking well it would be a, a miracle if we could come out with a point given recent weeks and given our well which you're doing at the moment I think you get put to the end of the game after 90 minutes and you're actually gutted to have not taken all three and I think that's a good sign I think it's a sign that we're improving things and I, th I think it, there's a lot to be pleased about there were some fantastic individual performances Joe Morrell the game of his life Zach Swanson continues I think to hold that first choice position where he plays I thought he was superb I think Connor Ogilvy deserved man of the match I thought he was he's like a Rolls Royce of a defender that bloke I thought it was absolutely outrageous today and I'm so delighted for him to get the man of the match but then you look at the flip side of it Leif Davis is an absolute machine he's worth an awful lot of money come from Leeds United to Ipswich and he's, he's an absolute freak of nature that boy and I thought he was their man of the match and I think Ipswich although they've brought a lot of them in and we <laughs> you cannot buy success um, most of the time but I think they, they might just do just that this season I think we give them an awful lot of credit because they're an absolutely fantastic team um, and we wish them every success this season it's probably a fair result on the balance of play I think that's a fair thing to say I don't think either just team deserved it more I think they probably slightly edged it if you're talking individual departments perhaps I'm really disappointed with the booze and I think I had a look at the reception that Danny was getting at the fratten end when he was walking around two weeks ago there were finger gestures booze whatever this week by and large 95% it was clapping and applause and appreciation for the good football that the Pompey fans were treated to tonight um, you could see the effort you could see the grit and the determination everything we've been promised I think if we play like that week in week out then we're in for an exciting last 25 now games left in league one I think there'll be a lot of criticism for Josh Griffiths for conceding that final goal I think it's hit hard at him and the, the fact that he can even the Ipswich Town player can even be allowed to strike from that distance is a worry what's also a worry is the two sharpest players the sharpest players to the spill of the ball from Griffiths are both wearing red and black shirts and one of them happened to be Connor Chaplin that that would be my my thing so I wouldn't pin all the blame on Griffiths I know he's got to gather I know that's his job as Roy Key once said but I think there's you, I don't think he is 100% to blame for that one I don't and, and actually at points Andrew we were sat there thinking 
it's coming, the Ipswich are going to score in a minute because they're so relentless. We gave them too much space, didn't close them down quick enough and allowed them to play football. That, you cannot do that against no. a good footballing side. Have that little bit more of an edge to your football, probe the opposition a little bit more, especially when they're the kind of opposition that you played against tonight um, and we could be in for some exciting times and hopefully something to get excited about in the new year, moving on towards May. No, it's very ultra positive, but we'll see what happens. We've got to try and put a spin on it somehow, haven't we? But Pompey well worthy of their point tonight, I thought. Did we tonight see a difference between a team that was bold enough and robust enough to probe as hard as they did and be as sharp and working towards the same idea as Ipswich? And is that the difference between winning promotion out of League One and staying in League One? Time will tell, we will see. My answer would be yes. Your answer might be different, so let us know in the comment section down below. We look forward to hearing what you got to say, Andrew. Thank you for letting us know what you had to say tonight. Have a fantastic New Year's, Andrew. How are you spending it? Watching us beat Charlton. I'll be here as well, and hopefully you will be too. Come and join us uh, Sunday night. Not long to get, not long to wait. We we'll look forward to having you for our New Year's special. Until then, have a fantastic New Year's. Enjoy it. Keep safe. Look after yourselves. Thanks for watching right to the end. Thank you to everyone who got involved tonight. We'll see you on Sunday. Keep the faith. Slava Ukraini. And as always, play up Pompey. Play up Pompey. Go south. Let the team down here.